Welcome to the Dimension CM build, getting started tutorial in which we're going to create a complete build process from scratch. So let's firstly go into the client and let's create a brand new stream. We'll call this simple build to reflect the fact we're going to create something very simple. We'll make sure this is a an empty stream. Finish and we'll now swap to that new stream. In the meantime, what I've done is I've created in here C work CM simple work area a file called simple.c, me making a source file. I'm going to make that my work area and let's just deliver that source file. into dimensions now we're going to create a build configuration this is something we do in the admin console so we're going to log into there now a build configuration always exists within a stream or a project so we need to first of all select the correct project for this new build configuration. So we select simple build and I'm going to call this simple build. And we are basically going to go ahead and just say create ourselves a simple script that basically checks to see if the object files of the build, so the target files, exist. If they do, let's just perform a quick cleanup. Now we're going to define the target for the build. So I've got a simple.c file and I'm going to pretend that it's building a simple.exe. It's final. Now for the target we need to specify the script that's been used to create that final target. So again we're going to mimic a compiler just by using a copy command. If you're doing this on Unix or um, Linux, you could use the CP command. Basically, something that takes an input and generates an output. And we shall click on Finish. And we're going to assign the source for the target. Now, because we're getting this from Dimensions, we're running the build from Dimensions, we're just going to click on that Get Sources from Dimensions. And our input file is the C file. That's fine. Now we need to define the inputs for the target. So here's our new target that we created. The input we're going to pick up from an existing source. So just click on the star.c source that we specified earlier. And now we need to create a build area. So an area in which the build is going to get run. So I'm going to create a brand new build area. Simple area on my local machine. And I'm going to create this within the same structure. I'll just call this build area for the sake of simplicity and here I need to specify the idea of a user that's going to be able to read and write into that area we'll just click on OK and that area is now going to be assigned so click on OK so the area now exists 
and is defined against the build configuration. Now we need to do is just check in the build configuration. And we are ready to run our build. So we'll go back up to the name of the build, click on run. At this point, we want to say that we want to download the files into the work area before the build. So these are going to pull the files out dimensions, place them into the build area prior to the build. And we want to capture the outputs as well. This is a way of being able to capture the generated target files that have been generated as part of the build and place them back into dimensions. We'll just click on run. build process has been kicked off just wait for that to complete and here we can see that the build is actually completed let's just check the script first off this is the cleanup script that was run initially and this is the copy commands mimicking a compile where the two files have been generated simple to obj and simple to exe and now we can see that the build has completed in this case we can just check to see the target has been successfully selected simple to exe and has been uploaded into dimensions and if we now go back to our client we can now see that simple.exe has been created from simple.c and placed into dimensions if we go to relationships we'll also notice that if we go to derived items we can see that simple.exe has been derived from simple.c at revision 1.0. We now have a completely fully closed loop build with bill of materials created within dimensions at CM through a simple build configuration. Please do check out the accompanying documents, as I've gone through this rather quickly, in which you can create a very similar build to the one that's just been created here. Keep an eye out for that on the knowledge base. Thank you for watching.